Do you play Star Wars Destiny? Are you looking for the last few cards for your collection? Are you trying to find the character you need to round out your tournament deck? VTTV has teamed up with 401 Games to provide you with 10% off your next order of Star Wars Destiny singles. It's pretty simple. Just go to 401games.ca and enter the code VTTVDestiny10 when you check out. That's VTTVDestiny10 when you place your next order at 401games.ca for 10% off all Star Wars Destiny singles. Actually, I think they're still resolving mulligans and all that, so we have a couple of minutes to talk about um, the upcoming Canadian Nationals that's happening uh, in Toronto at the Holiday Inn in Yorkdale at se on September 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. And so uh, anyone who's interested in pre-registering for any of the events, we're going to be having basically every FFG game that there is in Nationals yeah. for this year is going to be featured at that event. Uh, schedules and pre-registration is going to be available at 41games.ca. So if you go to that website, they're going to be handling pre-registration. You'll find links. You'll find uh, also an article detailing the exact schedule for each of the events so you can plan your weekend. So space is limited for all these events. So if you are planning on coming, please make sure that you pre-register early. Yeah, and please do. If you're uh, really interested in playing Destiny, Destiny will be starting in the afternoon, Friday afternoon on the 22nd, uh, with Top Cut happening uh, the next day. Uh, you can see the schedule for all the different games, but um, yeah, so it's going to be a fun weekend. We're going to be streaming uh, throughout, trying to bring as many different games as we can. I expect that we'll be streaming a lot uh, of Destiny, uh, definitely the Top Cut. Uh, yeah. And probably a lot of Swiss as well. Uh, Fingers crossed, Empire War is going to be out before then. Yeah, let's look for hope. I've heard the release date is sometime in mid September. So as long as it's, uh, I think it's 10 days before uh, day one of Nationals, I think it's going to be. Yeah. So yeah, we, we start here with a four speed on both sides of the table. Um, and Sam's ended up rolling out his entire, his entire crew there. Overconfidence, re-rolling those two, good choices. So yeah, just this is looks like a Oh. I guess it is. Hyundai, Hyundai. Hyundai. Always a Hyundai. Oh yeah. Well I mean I think he was doing it with the idea of getting rid of the force four speed, but But I mean if you get rid of the Hyundai then the four speed isn't that useful exactly. this turn at least, right? Yeah. Uh, Looks like uh, Sam is content to build for later rounds. Yeah. And John taking a little bit slow here, I think he realizes that you know, as fast as he can go, uh, Sam's deck is just going to go that much faster. Um, looks like a caution here, I think. No. Bowcaster first. Getting an additional action. Oh, it chose to pass with that additional action, perhaps? No, I think sometimes people forget. Okay. Once they've activated Ray, that bonus action still applies. Jeez. <laughs> what are the odds of that? <laughs> All blanks. Of course, now he'll hit the uh, special on uh, Holocron. Oh, now that he's thrown out the Force Lightning. Justice. Okay, so that's a lost cat now. So, okay, that's, that's probably why I didn't caution there. No. To save for that uh, that mitigation there, which is always a good plan, right? You just want to just want to try to um, stem as much damage as possible from Palpatine while at the same time getting yourself set up. So you know, in which is pretty much the direct opposite of what happened last round, where um, John and Shane were playing haymakers. But yeah, sorry, play another. Do you play another Sith holocron? Do you play the Sith, or do you uh, discard it for the reroll? I guess I think you're just setting up for next turn, right? You just want to get the card out of your. You're going to get the card out of your hand anyway, I think, to draw, so you can draw more force powers, and then it increases the chances of rolling a special as well. So there's a there's a viper knife on the same side. And uh, just, just to note that this this game, uh, Sam indeed ended up getting his Starship Graveyard, which is uh, very and a very important piece, obviously, for the Han Raider. This allows you to rebuy Viber Knives and do stuff like this. Prince of Dice gets a shield on Han and then decides what to do with his next two actions. So what do you think about Bowcaster actually on, on Ray? That's like a pretty eclectic choice. Well, I think it's just he's finding that he had the resources to kind of upgrade for bigger damage cards. Yeah. And then at least it's still got... Uh, Redeploy, right? 
I guess, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, after I got the promo smoke, I was like, let's build smoke. Yeah, for real. You know, I, I feel like um, every time I see a, a special roll down on Bowcaster, I just feel like the people that bring that brought Palpatine today just feel vindicated. Um, you know, with the... the the uh, Poe Maz deck with all the multiple character damage and then the Bowcaster yeah. with its specialty multiple character damage. Yeah. Yeah. Feeling right here, Kess, it's not bad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah, but it's fun. Exactly. Right? And... Yo. Yeah, jo John electing to play really slow right now. Might, might even go for the caution here onto Ray. Or is this a pitch? Yeah, exactly. yeah, okay. yeah, Just taking one dollar, it's good. Some more money is always good, so you can get that second chance money. Here's a rollout with a, a very defensive roll, actually, on Palpatine's side with the two shields. Now, unless Sam rolls another damage side, obviously that one of those shields is going to be wasted, but that's still four potential damage. On right. Which is, you know, the good thing about Palp, right? Whatever you roll, you're kind of happy with it. You almost never reroll Palp's dice. Yeah. Electro Shock on one. I'll take the shields happily with the other. Four damage swing is always good. Uh, Sam elects to put that damage onto Ray. Now, I don't think I saw a force upgrade, an a blue ability upgrade in John's hand, so I don't think discarding to rule is worth anything right now. Well, at that point, then you always have been season up, yeah, but like, he knew what I was doing. Cautions, flares and shields onto Ray. This is just a oh, claim, yeah, you know, he's claiming here. Alexa claim. Those cards in his hand better be really good. Well, you thought maybe he should have discarded some of the horse throw? I mean, none of those, I guess none of those, no. none of those sides are all that, all, all that, uh, all that great anyways. Yeah, I mean, force throw, like, because uh, Sam wasn't showing any dice that really needed right. throwing, so, yeah. Yeah, it's looking for that holocron special, but he gets a force speed. That's pretty good. Allows him to resolve both of Palp's dice uh, in a single turn. Doesn't look like Sam's going to be able to deal, do anything about it, so... Yeah. Gets his own force speed. Uh, some disrupt action there from uh, the bowcaster. Two guards in his hand. I mean, I think that's why he was just rolling. I just wanted to see if he could get some uh, melee sights from the guard, but... Yeah. Three just, damage on Ray. I'm just going to take his... Uh, speed action, three damage, and then another two. Uh, probably going on Han. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Sam just forgetting to take those resources, but his second action is going to be two discard here, and see if he can strip some of that dice mitigation. Oh, no. Second chance and a riposte. That was uh, that was way back from the KOS when he was like, you could play this. Not a big deal for Sam, is he uh, he could always get that back with the Starship Graveyard. Alright, so man of the There's another two damage which he's split amongst both his characters. Um, Sam hasn't really been able to muster any sort of offensive power this game so far. And I think he's starting to slip a little a little behind in that regard. So he's going to need something to happen with this uh, hitch to reroll here. Uh, Lots of wanks. I think there's a Philly Ranger in, uh, in John's hand. Maybe. No money though. To, uh, to No, no. His money's there. It's just hidden behind his hand. But he is going to use a high ground. Um, even though he controls the battlefield, it is not a character dice, so he does not feel one to Ray there. Now he did remember to pay a dollar for that, right? He did. He had rise again money. Wow. Flush with cash. So John's looking in a great position here. Yeah, just Sam. Sam's dice just haven't been cooperating with him the last few turns. He has all that money, doesn't just straight up play it, and he does decide to pay for for a force lightning. No, he. Uh, oh, did he overwrite? Oh, jeez. Yeah, why not? I mean, it's, it's not like you're going to use Rising Hand anytime soon anyway. Yeah. Like, you don't have any damage on you. And you kind of smell blood in the water now, right? You might as well... <laughs> Plus, with all the all the blanks that Sam's been rerolling, 
like maybe John's thinking, oh, you know, maybe I'll be able to use that that uh, that die on Force for Lightning more than a couple of times. Oh. Discard the second guard. There's some money. There's actually uh, there's a huge damage side there on the bowcaster and the money to pay for it. But there's a doubt, yeah. Doubt's... No. Same, same, same yeah. side. Still, I mean, Doubt's... I was going to say, Doubt's such a good card. It is I mean, you, there, there are situations where, you know, that happens. Uh, and so you have to be kind of um, careful as to which die you choose when you when you roll out the Doubt. But more often than not, it works out in favor. And I think uh, at this point, John was in, he's in such a commanding position that, you know, he was willing to take the risk. Oh, oh. I think he just don't bother doing the damage, just claim here. Yeah, I think that's what he's going to do. Take the money and claim. Yeah, there you go. I think maybe get back a second chance, or did he already take the card back? I don't know. If, I don't think he's uh, decided yet. Oh, maybe he chooses not to do it. I guess he chose not to trigger. Yeah, it's a Go to do the second chance back now. I, I think the reason why he didn't do it is because maybe he was looking for an ambush piece. Yeah. And uh, I don't think there was an ambush piece in his graveyard. So he's just trying to increase his chances there of drawing something. Add regionals, I smoke somebody's. So there's another. Okay, there's a. Is that a two rain side there? Yeah, on two the, rain. Oh, Sorry, nine cat. So electro, now, yeah, electroshock doesn't have the guard anymore, which yep. is unfortunate. Oh, he, uh, no, he doesn't have one. I mean, he does have electroshock, and if he had the guard, I mean, he would be removing the same amount of dice right now if, as if he did have an electroshock with the one melee. Uh, so he will be able to remove that one that palp die with the two ranged, but there's still a uh, force lightning die there, and the other palp die. So yeah, he's going to go ahead and remove the two range. And I think John at this point might just go ahead and try to deal three to... Oh, no mercy. Wow. Oh no, he doesn't have the money to do it because he needed to. There you go. Yeah, he's, he's going to take the money. But now he's kind of tipped his hand a bit. So let's see if Sam actually has a way to deal with it. He, 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 like you said, he doesn't have the guard anymore, but does he have another? He has a caution. So he, he could put he, he could put three shields on uh, on Han, but then, unpredictable as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, unpredictable. He might as well take a shot. Yeah. Nope. Okay. No, he does have a he does have an ambush, so maybe he cautions here. But cautioning cautioning just means that he kills Ray instead. Or maybe he doesn't even need to kill Ray. I think maybe he has enough damage to just just kill Han through the shields. Yeah, he's just gonna go ahead and deal damage and say, hey, I know you're gonna kill one of my characters now, so it doesn't really not really much I can do about it. So yeah, he's gonna gonna go ahead. Resolve no mercy on. I really feel like Han is the target here. You can't, you can't kill Ray. Yeah. Oh, he did that for me. So I, like yeah. I, I still think you kill Han. No, see, because yeah, I mean, he decides to go after Ray, which is understandable because of the action cheating and the upgrades. But you know, on the other hand, Han hasn't rolled out any of his dice yet, so you're basically buying a turn there as well. But no, uh, I think John thinks that he has the ability to finish off uh, on with the with, uh, with the damage that Han has him on him already. Uh, but you know, now you've kind of uh, you've kind of let Sam stay in the game if he's if he manages to get back his second chance, right? So that's another reason why he probably would have gone after Han first. And so now Sam's dice is starting to cooperate with him a little bit. Yeah, um, that's eight damage showing. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Actually, this might be the the, the sort of the turning of the corner here. Um, so John, I think, is going to claim. Yeah, and I think he put a force choke on top of his deck. Why? I don't know that you bother. You're not going to. You're not going to play it. Uh, you, you might overrate the force speed with it. Like I don't know how much you need a force speed now. You don't, but I think you need some other ingredients in your deck. Yeah. 
Like, I think maybe he's thinking the force speed is useful for uh, mitigating bowcaster dice turn after turn. Or sorry, force choke. Rather. <coughs> but now that caution is useless, so. so the Starship, Starship Ravier is still over on Sam's side, but yeah. John did claim. So another bowcaster, which. Bowcaster's not legendary, is it? Yes, it is. Oh, it is. Okay. So. Yeah. Is it? I don't see a, I don't see a dot legendary. next to the... Okay. Sorry, Are not yet unique. legendary. Unique, yes. It, it is, is legendary, but it's not, not unique. unique. Yes. Um, okay, so yeah, like we said, John has a battlefield, so that let him roll out. And, um, he is showing that Force Lightning uh, special, which uh, if Sam rolls any blanks out, that's going to be pretty devastating for him. But Sam does get an ambush, gets another shield. Yeah, that, the, the, the force lighting is still too slow. Like, yeah. I don't, he can't afford to spend turns doing it. And then he overwrites uh, with the blaster pistol, gets shield. another shield, yep. And he gets to remove a die, and that's going to be, yep. And now what do you do? Yeah, roll out and hope you don't get any blanks. Yeah, John, I think, needed to roll uh, damage on one of the... Uh, Pulp dies to uh, get. Uh, it looks like he has no mercy in his hand. That would have uh, been the game there. Yeah. So you can force speed and force lightning if you activate. Yeah, which is what he's going to do. No, but it's not enough. Like he'll die if he does that. So I, I, I think he needs to re-roll his pulp die. Both of them. No, he decided to discard instead. Deal two. Isn't that fatal damage from Sam? Yeah, maybe he just doesn't see it. Or, he... oh, there you go. That's why he just. <laughs> okay. But I think I think John also missed the um, the fact that like when you're resolving specials, like yeah. for example when you resolve the force speed, you could also resolve the force lightning in the same act. Yeah, oh, I should say action. Yeah. Which would have allowed him to uh, and get potentially the... get the damage he needed. For yeah. Speed. We'll get the damage and remove that blank from the deal. Okay, so interesting. He focused so that it will be fatal damage. Yeah. Yeah, he has the money to pay for everything. So with the no with the no mercy in John's hand, I think I would have tried to reroll the both palp dice. Yeah. Uh, to try to get the damage that I needed. I think I see another Force Illusion in John's hand, though. So it, it may not be lights out for uh, Palpatine just yet, but yeah, I think... Does he have enough Earth? In his deck? Well, you just need to survive one big hit, right? Like, you need to survive a... He needs to, he needs to mitigate... Nine damage. Uh, a six and a three. Yes. Yeah. It's a lot of cards, so I don't think he can. So, so he concedes. Uh, it's going to put both of them at three and one for the day. But I think that uh, John's John's tiebreaker should be better because he played... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, he was undefeated up until the last round, so... Potentially, uh, yeah. I mean, in the case where it's head-to-head, -head, like, unless we end up with another three and one, yeah. uh, it should be their head-to-head -head record that beats the tiebreaker. It's not what uh, FFG has in the tournament rules, but... Uh, it, all else being equal, if you have head-to-head -head matchups to go for the tiebreakers, that's what I prefer to use. Right, yeah. Do you play Star Wars Destiny? Are you looking for the last few cards for your collection? Are you trying to find the character you need to round out your tournament deck? VTTV has teamed up with 401 Games to provide you with 10% off your next order of Star Wars Destiny singles. It's pretty simple. Just go to 401games.ca and enter the code VTTVDestiny10 when you check out. That's VTTV Destiny 10 when you place your next order at 401games.ca for 10% off all Star Wars Destiny singles.